What in the is that? Some frozen chicken? What in the How the do we eat that? Hold it. It's not no. gonna bite you, it's dead. Okay, I just hope the kitchen isn't still like that. Let's go inside, let's try this place out, and if Gordon really did a flip on this place, we should still see the results. Come on. There's the little lady, the old lady. The grandma is here. First look at the place, it looks like they did upkeep it, you know? Like yeah. It looks nice in here. There's that, um, that wall back there, and I'm looking at the little old lady that's in the back, which is the lady from the video. And I'm just so excited when there's people from the actual <laughs> show yeah. still here, because it's just like, I don't know, I, like, I watched the series. Yeah, this and, like, show aired a year ago. This one's a lot newer than the last one. If you missed yeah. the last video, we went to the Capri Italian restaurant, and that one's like aired nine years ago. This one aired a year ago. Yeah, it was so like June. more recent, and uh, all the people are still here. The wife, the bald-headed guy who was the owner, and then the actual owner, owner, his mom, are all here. Me, my wife, and my three kids. We live together, and then we work together. It's not a great recipe. I'm not as I think to me because I can't. Problem. You're not the problem. No. Both is a problem. Both the Both problem. Both are the problem. Because one is the owner and the other one is the son of the owner. A family business that's not on the same page. Let's check out these menus and let's see what we're working with here before we start getting into it with the people. But I feel like we do need to tell them what we're doing in order to get them to cooperate and be in the video. Let's play it out, see how it goes. Let's check out this menu first. Okay, let's get some shots of this menu. Let's see what we're gonna order. I know we're gonna try the stuff that we're, on, that we're like brand new for this place on the show. And look at it. It says right there, Restaurant Renovation by Gordon Ramsay to Helen Back. So a little history about this place. It was opened in 1985 by Aurora back there, who was the older woman. Uh, it's her husband opened the shop with her, um, and then he passed away, unfortunately. So her son started running the business, which is Marco. And he works here, too, because we just saw him. And then his wife is the one who sat us down here. It's all exciting that everyone's here. So let's see what we got going on. Ooh. Some salsa for you guys. And would you require some plate for the guacamole? It's fine, uh, I, I guess. think we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is a vegan menu, okay? Oh, oh nice. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. That's cool. They have not only a regular menu, but they also have a vegan, vegan menu. options. Yeah, you don't see that a lot from like Mexican restaurants. I'm gonna taste this guac and see how Can fresh it is. Can I get a lemon, please? Guac is very thick. I like that. It's not as mashed as I would hope it would be, but it's still very, very good, very fresh guacamole. Jake and I have been on a diet lately because we've been too thick. Damn, boy, he thick! Bah! These are our first bits of carbs in like four or five days. And boy, did the carbs taste amazing. A little also history about this place that I found out on Gordon Ramsay's episode is this place is known, supposed to be known for their sauces. They obviously went downhill for a while. What sauce, Marco, are we making with this? Um, our, 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 our base sauce, but th that, that we will throw out. They're all <laughs> Young man, your father built his legacy on sauces, right? Yeah. Congratulations. You've just it. And this salsa is actually really good. It's hot in temperature, but not spice. Yeah. So like it's actually heated up salsa, so it's a hot salsa, you know what I mean? The hot tomato sauce. Yeah, it's like an enchilada kind of flavor. I almost feel like I'm eating some like spaghetti sauce with uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. <laughs> taste this other one. That one's cool, but it's hot. <laughs> that makes any sense at all. It's hot because it's spicy. I don't like that one. What are we gonna... So from the show, the guac was like really good. And it also, had like liquid coming out when they it turned it. It had liquid coming out. I retried, there's nothing. It... So pretty fresh. So far, so good. I see that you guys are renovated by Gordon Ramsay. Which ones are like the ones that he brought onto the menu? The starred ones, right? Yeah. Okay. The main course is a uh, red snapper with a with a croissant on the on the back. The first one. Got it. Yeah. And that one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. It's very popular. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank. Today we don't have red snapper. <laughs> no! <laughs> we do want to get the ceviche going. This uh, appetizer? As an appetizer? The agua chile ceviche? We don't have right now. Oh. They are preparing right now. Maybe in an hour. Mm, like interesting. To um, maybe the mussels and chorizo. Could we get that to start? Oh, you don't have that either? Dang, well, I have some really bad news for you. <laughs> we actually are doing a series where we go and check up on Gordon Ramsay restaurants. Oh, really? Yes, and we, our last video got 2 million views in 2 days. And you don't have anything. I mean, I don't have this, the our chile ceviche. Yeah. Let me check. Can Let you check? check? Yeah, I have a little bit. Thank you, yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. 
Eesh, this is not looking too good for this restaurant. Yeah. I came in here, I was hoping to God that, you know, it was gonna do, it was gonna be well, it was gonna be good. I had to let her know what we're doing right now because they literally have nothing that Gordon Ramsay came and did. Mm -hmm. And I saw a little clip from the episode. Marco's son was saying how they're reverting to their old ways and all that stuff, so here's the clip. Hey Gordon, it's Marco from La Serenata. Uh, I'm just giving you an update of what's going on and it's tough, it's tough right now. My dad, he's going back into his old ways. I told you, chicken quesadilla, okay? You made another mistake. He went back to the old menu. Johnny left. It's kind of me back there on my own. I mean, it's not, it's not looking good. All the stuff that starred on the menu is the stuff that Gordon Ramsay brought in. They don't have any of it. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm all about helping restaurants and trying my best, but like, he did you guys a favor and helped out this restaurant for free. He didn't charge you guys for that. And then you don't carry any of the stuff. Like, yeah. how is that going to help your restaurant? You know? Yeah, he felt those were the items that people would like, and obviously they're... Either they really do like them, they sold out of them, or they just are reverting from the menu. It says how it's like Gordon Ramsay was on the... Sh Why is it that you have none of the food that Gordon brought? Well, we have the red snapper. Sometimes... You don't have is it today, the, though. Yeah, we don't have today. It's the first uh, fish they finished past. Uh -huh. uh, the skittles we have. Um, Masses with chorizo we have for the... Sometimes we sell it, sometimes not. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But we still have it on the menu. We need to have it because people ask for yeah. uh, our chile ceviche. How's your margarita? Taste and enjoy. Oh, man. It's so good. Just a basic margarita. It does taste like it's homemade, made with like mm, good strong. quality stuff. It's not like a, a Costco. I honestly, I, I feel like it tastes uh, Jose Cuervo. So, so, what, so what do we do? If what do we do in this situation? I guess the order that you guys are waiting is going to be in about half an hour. Is Ooh. that okay? Or we can think? order something else and then still try it though. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. It looks like they are able to make it, but they just didn't. Maybe they weren't prepared for anybody, to, anybody in to come in. A few moments later. They told us maybe like 10 minutes ago that they didn't have the stuff and that it was going to be 30 minutes, but they haven't came and checked up on us since and asked us if we wanted anything else. Um, yeah, it's a little odd. They've kind of been like watching us because we have this big camera on the table, but they haven't like come up and checked on us. Like for them knowing what we do now, it's not good service. It's kind of like they don't care. It, it's like they don't care. I'm being real. Like, I don't want to hurt a restaurant, but at the same time, it's like, this is what normal customers get when they come here. Yeah, That's it's kind of messed up. We asked for like three different things and they're all out of it. All out of it. And it's everything that he, he did, so. What do they have? I don't know, but we should be the better question. And I noticed that um, there's not a lot of people here, so yeah. like, where do they usually come later or is it just like not so busy? Now? Um, it's depends. Depend uh, on uh, the the month, you know. We finish um, well in the middle of September. Uh -huh. Is the month like people go back to school and uh, yeah, it's a very slow uh, month. Do you feel that um, you guys like really took to heart what Gordon Ramsay said about the restaurant and like the changes, or do you feel like you're going back to your old ways? No, no, we. I mean, the good he came. Uh -huh. He changed the look because we need uh, something refreshed. Right. If he don't do that, the owner they're not gonna do that. Yeah. This Angus tostada. You have that? Yeah. I'm just gonna get that because it's starred by you know. Two chicken flautas. Oh, what do the the chicken what? enchilada? And is uh, Marcos here? Yeah, he's here. Is he available to come talk to us? <laughs> Thank you. 20 minutes later. We've been waiting for 15 minutes for the owner to come out and he still hasn't. Uh, I saw him a few minutes ago over there. I don't know if they're hiding something or maybe he just knows. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I literally have no idea what he could be doing right now. The only thing I can think of is if she didn't tell him that we wanted to talk to him. Later. My mom speaks Spanish, she's listening. What do you think? It says something about it's gonna be difficult to do this food. She's showing her like a piece of paper. I'm not sure if she's talking about our, what we ordered or not. I mean, I mean, there's only us in the restaurant, so she has to be talking about our food. 
they're watching me. They're watching me film them. This is one of those places, like, when we went to the last place, I was, like, really happy to help these guys out because they were, you know, really, he seemed like a really genuine guy and he really wanted his restaurant to do well. Here, I don't feel bad for these people. I don't, like, they had every opportunity in the world to change and if they still can't change, like, that's on them, man. How'd the interview go? He didn't even come yet. Where is she he? She said he's at the store or something. And then mom's overhearing them because, you know, she speaks Spanish. They're saying, like, I don't know how we're going to figure out this food. Like, what we're going to do. Like, they're scrambling back there. Why don't we go to the bathroom with you in the meantime? That's true. You want to hit one real quick? It, it, it's going to be hard. The music is up to 100 in there. I did a quick walk by, and uh, it looks like a dungeon in there. It's kind of scary. Well, get the recording. <laughs> Okay, first off, we got a really, really loud music. What the hell? Okay, so they literally have one light bulb going. They can't even put the time and the energy to fix this one light, this other light bulb over here. Don't even get me started on the rest of appliances. Small little urinal right next to the sink. Did you know when you take a piss as a man, you could spray up to five feet off of something, which means those sprinkles that you're sprinkling could be hitting you in the sink where you're washing your hands, where you're leaning up against. If I'm leaning up against this right here and someone sprinkled all over it, like, that's disgusting. I do not approve of that. I honestly think these restrooms are a little bit on the shorter side. I can't imagine to be peeing. If I'm standing here, it's so low to me. It's honestly below my kneecaps. That's kind of weird. I don't really understand it, but let's get back to the food. So, so where did Marco go? Did he ever come over here? She said he went to the store. What store? To go buy your ceviche? <laughs> He's probably going to another Mexican restaurant around the corner buying all the meals that we just ordered and is going to bring it back, out, take it out of the box and replate it. Yeah, it sounds like it. This place is sketch, man. It really is. We are the only one in this restaurant and there's still like someone's old food here. I don't know how long this food's been here, but they don't even have the decency to come clean the tables. This could have been like three hours ago. It's kind of ridiculous. While we wait for Marcos to come out, I guess this is a great time to tell you guys that I have brand new merch out. Are you ever just so tired? And not just tired, like sleepy tired, but mentally tired? Are you ever mentally exhausted? Well, this is the perfect chance for you to get a shirt that just explains how you are and who you are as a person. Right into that.com, go pick it up. We have tons of new merch and it's the most fire in the game. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I am not impressed by just looking at it. I mean, it's aesthetically okay, decent, but this, I ordered an Angus tostada. If you know what a tostada is, it's basically a chip, like a big chip or big tortilla or tortilla little tortilla, the anything. Tortilla as a bowl underneath, and this is just five chips laid on around it. Mm -hmm. Nothing about this, and this is just carne asada. I know it's carne asada and Angus are, the, are both meats, but this is burnt. Carne asada. It's Angus is a little bit more money because it's nicer meat. That that is not nice. Mm. Mine on the other hand, I'm kind of like, it kind of just looks like it was from Trader Joe's. It looks like, like egg rolls. Ass. Yeah, like, it looks like an egg roll. And I know in the episode, the guy that was the host walked out and asked if the people wanted Chinese food at a Mexican yeah. place. Our green chicken enchiladas and tomatillo sauce. Would you like to start with the Chinese? Um, Chinese. I'm done. I'm done. Man, I gotta get some fresh air. And Gordon Ramsay was very upset. Me. Maybe this is why, because I'm making. Look at the chicken. It doesn't look very it looks dry. Dry as hell. And I got the two enchilada plate, chicken enchilada. One is like a Veracruz sauce with like uh, bell peppers, chili, tomato, red sauce. The other one's a green chili sauce with some rice, some refried beans. Aesthetically, it looks it looks good. Mm -hmm. So we'll the only see. thing I will say about this is the plate looks a little empty. Both of your plates look empty, and I feel yeah. like when you're like serving food, you should kind of make it look like it's like there's more in there than. I feel like it's not enough food. Yeah, this was fourteen dollars, and it's literally like the I lettuce is literally cheap, cheap lettuce yeah. that you buy from a, a bag at Ralph's. You do no sauce, just straight by itself. <laughs> this sucks. Why are you doing that to yourself? Wow, salad? chicken is like completely dry like ridiculous dry not good at all i'm just looking at mine real quick there's like barely any lettuce in here like they just sprinkled it on it's like at chipotle at the end you ask for a little bit of lettuce on top of your mm -hmm. bowl that's literally what they gave me so i'm gonna try this now the angus doesn't taste like angus it tastes like carne asada it's not like thick or juicy it is literally 
just shredded steak, which is essentially carne asada. And most of the pieces have burnt ends on them, so it's like a crunch almost, and it's not very appetizing. You know uh, why it's crunchy like that? Why? They're not, they didn't make the meat right then and there for you. They left they it on the stove. Just right, like just to and then they stay reheat it. Heated. Yeah, they reheat the meat. It's like the, the cheap like uh, Mexican restaurants for like tacos, taco yeah. stands. They cook everything in the morning, tons of it. They put it into a bowl and they leave it heated. And then when they go to like order a carne asada taco, they put it on the thing, yeah. cook it again. This has definitely been sitting because like you can literally just see it. Like it's all, it's black. I would not be surprised if they said this is like three days old. What do you think of yours? Um, chicken's kind of dry. Mm -hmm. The sauce is good though. It's like a lemony green sauce. But the chicken is definitely very dry. Mm -hmm. Let's see the rice. The rice doesn't look like there's anything on it. Um, the rice is the rice is good. The rice is good. It's okay. So, it's just a so, little dry. So the question I have is, if is this homemade or is this store bought? I definitely think obviously it had to have been heated up here at some point, or this can be. But like, it's just like it's such. This is such a cheated tostada. Like I've gone to Chili's and had a better tostada than this homemade family-run business. Yeah. This is very disappointing. And I know if Gordon Ramsay came here, he would look at this and be like. This is filth. It definitely doesn't taste. It doesn't taste authentic. No, it's not, it doesn't it's look. It's it's no good. It's lost the authenticity a while ago. Like, I don't think it is. I mean, even mine, like it's missing like a beans or a rice with the plate. You know what I mean? It's like we asked to talk to the manager a long time ago. He's here. He's walking around. He's right there. But he still has yet to even come up to the table. I know he knows we're eating, but it's but still he like could he like could still that. be like, hey, like. You guys want to talk something like it's just this place is it's sad to say and I sad that I have the power to like say this and like people Wait, listen to it but this? it's not she just pulled it Wait, but I don't know if it's is it just something from the what the hell I have no idea I would it's, say like a fit. It's no. kind of thick. It's thick. Like, yeah, it's not hair. It's some type of. I'm not sure what it is. It wouldn't be like a. It almost looks like a fish bone, but yeah, you don't have that's what fish. I was gonna say. Almost like a fish bone. I have no idea. I'll I mean, just leave it there. It could have come off of like the grill when they use that thing, the scraper. But like, they should definitely like not be having that happen. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean. <sighs> I don't even want to eat this. Like it's yeah, it's, I'm, it's I'm, against my like my diet, and it's mm -hmm. not good. So it's yeah. like not even worth it. So uh, I'm gonna think we're gonna try to get our meeting with Marcos. Talk to him about why he's letting this place fall down the drain again. Because I have to be honest with the guy. It's not good. Hello. Hey, Marcos. How are you? My name is Brennan. Nice to meet you. I would love to just talk to you for a second. I do videos, and I go and I try out Gordon Ramsay's restaurants that he he did. And if you have a second, I would love to talk to you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do you, would you want to sit down? Give me one second, okay? Sure, yeah, go ahead. So they're making excuses right now. Uh, you, what did you overhear them saying? I overheard them say that he has an appointment at 3 o'clock, which I don't know what time it is now, but we've been waiting for him for probably almost 45 minutes. And his wife, who's the server, said, oh, just tell him you can't, you gotta go, you gotta go. So they definitely don't want to be on camera. Yeah, and as soon as I told him, like he was like, I don't know. It just it doesn't make sense. Like he he goes he he's wearing a wrinkled white shirt. He's like even in my t-shirt. Like okay, but at least look presentable at your restaurant. You know, yeah. like you've been on TV, national TV. Like everyone knows who you are at this restaurant that's coming here because they're definitely not coming for the food. Yeah. Um. It just it, everything is just very like <sighs> sus. Yeah. You're worse than him. The way you shouted at my guest. I'm the one who who ordered my hima mahi. Just put the plate down. Okay. There you go. Put the plate down. No, I didn't think I screamed, but uh, no, I'm, okay. I, I apologize. That's a polite way of I, I'm acknowledging. I apologize. I apologize. You guys. Yes. Um, I didn't realize it's 3 o'clock. My son gets out at 3.15. I have to uh, go. But if Irma, Irma, um, Irma, can you do it? Because you know I got to pick up Joaquin. 15? Okay. Five minutes. All we need no, no, is a I couple minutes. I can't. I can't. I, I would. No problem. Been, hey, we asked to talk to you about 45 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah but I, I didn't know. How we asked her to ask you. Yeah, like 45 minutes ago. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, um, Irma, you, you want to do this? Okay, what should I do with Joaquin then? Just let him sit out there? He's a first grader, just let him sit out there? Was so 
like yeah. thick. It yeah, was just like, like I we wanted to just like go under the table like, and hide. I, I can understand like a little bit of anger, but like the fact that he yells like, "Are you gonna do this?" Like He's it was like, like, "What do we do with the first grader? Yeah. Let us stand outside and wait." It's like I, I kind of like, wanted to say, "No, go, go get your kid." I was honestly about it to say, "It's fine, yo. We don't need yeah, to yeah, go, 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 go get your first grader." You know. No. He was on the camera, so he was like trying to be like, like the small macho guy. And the guy was looking at her, and she was like, "No, no, I don't want to go." He kept going, "Come, come." She's like, "No, no, I don't want to go." We should not, as customers, see that. Yeah. What about? I have a question. I know yeah. in uh, in the episode it talked about you know the hostility between Aurora and Marcos. Yeah. And the mom, she wants to control everything. And Marco, he don't want to be controlled from his mom. Why are you gonna wait? Pay her now. Marco! Don't talk to me. Why are you going to talk Is it a new staff or has it, has that changed? Is everybody's attitude better now? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a better attitude, I think. I mean, it's the same um, employer. Right. And um, I mean, we are happy and uh, the employers and uh, Marco and me, we are team. So we have to make successful the restaurant. And uh, I mean, yeah. I'm not charged for that. Oh. Appreciate okay. it. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Okay, so the total came out to be for tax, fifty-seven dollars. So I would say probably two money signs because each of the meals are fourteen, thirteen, ten. 11. Oh, guacamole was more than the flautas was. How much was it? $11 for guac. Wow, they upped the price. It used to be $9 That's on the episode. Wow. Okay, whatever. You know, we're going to pay All this. All the cutters are expensive. Uh, yeah. I've never seen ceviche. I've though. never seen ceviche like this. It's Because it does have its, uh, what is it inside? The crema inside? Yeah, it's, it's heavy shana. crema. So usually you have appetizers before, but you know, it took 45 minutes to get the ceviche. And this is something that Gordon Ramsay, you know, made on the show and yeah. he wanted it there. So we're going to try it. They're not charging us for it, so this is literally unbiased, and let's try it out. It's supposed to be shrimp and sea bass in here. It looks like spinach. Yeah, it does. Let me go. I just stabbed my tooth. I've never had such a thick, mm. pasty ceviche. Is it good? A little spicy. Ooh, it has a lot of spice in it. I feel like there's not a lot of actual fish in there. It's more chunky than... And it's really spicy, but it's like not... I've never seen a ceviche like this before. Yeah, though. me either. I personally don't like it. I'm gonna I be think honest. I think it's alright. I feel like it. I think it's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I just think when I think of ceviche, I think of like healthy, fresh fish. Yeah, you think of just lemon. chopped fish. This is like chopped fish, but crema sauce inside of it. And that's what this basically is surrounded around. The one thing that I, I'm not too crazy about, I mean, I liked it, is that I can't see what I, like, right? Yeah. I can't yeah. see the quality of the fish. Yeah. And the if anything, I think this, this plate is too, like, high-end for this restaurant. Like I could see this at like a really high end Mexican restaurant. You know, yeah. like the way it's garnished, like it looks like it like what's a catch? You know, well like that's catch? like the same thing as the guac with the pico de guy when it came out, it looked very nice. Yeah, so yeah. that was our start. But then the then the, kind yeah, of, if we would have got if we would have got the guac if we would have got, got the guac and then this back to back before our food. I would have thought this place is a five star place. Exactly. Right. right. So it's just it's it very starts deceiving. Off very, very good yeah. and then it kinda went downhill. Okay. And that's that, man. It, it really is upsetting when I see a place that just so recently got whole revamped by Gordon Ramsay. Like, he came out here, he did a 24-hour flip on this place just for them to revert. And it only lasted, like, three months. Now they're just going back to their old ways. It's, it's kind of upsetting because this place isn't going to be around much longer. I can tell you that 100% fact. I'm not a food critic, but what I just ate... It, it, it wasn't good. So that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not doing this to hurt businesses. I really come in here trying to help businesses, but like when you see stuff like that, it really is upsetting and I hope that they all find their happiness because this, this doesn't make them happy. This is bringing stress to their lives. So I hope they figure it out. Make sure you check us out on Patreon. We have exclusive videos that come up there multiple times a month. So go check it out. I love you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. It's kind of me back there on my own and because I don't get paid here anymore, I have a second job. It's tough.